openings generated and recorded, there was ward level coalition, parties had agents. It went to local government coalition, parties had agents, state coalition, parties had agents. And at that point, they had all the little, little pieces of paper that we are talking about to compare. But let's listen to the scope. I will still come back to you. Now, just a minute, if you may. Just a minute. Let's make this a procedure that we all should make. Okay. Let the rec, or the scope, Quara, respond to that question, and then we'll come back to your issue. Thank no, you, let, him, let, that, let the uh, scope respond. I will still come back to you. Scope. Thank you, sir. Regarding the comments by the PRP agents, I have mentioned earlier that there were some cancelled votes in some of the polling units. And this might be attributed to the difference. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, the agent of the PRP, can you, I'm sorry, PDP, can you please repeat what you said on the basis of the provision of the law? What, uh, I just want to quickly react to the presentation by the chairman on the, we are in this country and the INEC made a press statement when uploads were not done. You even said there was no hacking of your server and all that. And everyone sitting there is either a Christian or a Muslim. And you know there was problem with uploading your results. Till this minute I'm speaking, many results have not been uploaded on your server. So you cannot be using justification that it both took place at the pooling unit when INEC failed in uploading results from polling units. If you had uploaded those results immediately after votes was casted in each polling unit, we will have access to them and I will not be asking questions here. But as I speak to you, those results were not uploaded for hours, for hours. Yesterday, I complained to you, the chairman. I complained to two other commissioners and in my presence, they called um, the wreck in Imo where even the director of ICT was saying they should use offline to upload. So if results Agent. were not uploaded, Agent. if results were not uploaded, we as parties cannot be challenged that the process is over. The process is not over because it is faulty, results were not uploaded, and if those results were not uploaded, we are definitely going to contest the authenticity of whatever presentation is being made here. And finally, sir, I want to challenge any returning officer from any state coming here because there's penalty for you if you lie or if you alter anything. Tell us before you start your presentation that what you are presenting before cameras, that what you are presenting is what, you have, what is uploaded on INEC website. Please say that and see if you have given wrong information, you will not go to jail. Okay. Is there any agent of any party that hasn't spoken? Party agent. No, not you. Your party has spoken. Let's give the opportunity to another person. You have also spoken, PRP. Please, please take your seat. Let's, let's make this orderly, in an orderly manner, please. Speak, uh, introduce yourself. Mr. Chairman. I am Chinemelo Uba. I represent APP. I want to align with the submission of the PDP agent. If we take your submission, Chairman, it may seem what we are here for is mere formality, as if all has been done at the level of the world, local government, and state. Mr. Chairman, if there is difficulty in why what he's saying cannot be done. You explain to us, maybe we understand. But what he's asking for, to my mind, is very apt. We are here as the final collation center, either to correct what has been done wrongly. We've had complaints from the world, from the local government, from agents there. If we can upload this year, 
we serve as a final habitat, so to say. Thank you, sir. Okay. If you have any um, complaints, um, any documents that you may have, please forward them. But otherwise, we cannot be considering the report from Quara and talking about matters arising from another state. When we come to that state, we'll talk about matters arising from that state. Uh, which party is that, Alex? Alex, uh, Alex go ahead. ADP. Yes. Uh, I stand before you and the entire world to support what the PDP agent had said. Because before now, Nigerians have waited, you know, with abated palpitation. Three. And the information or the education we had before now is that whatever vote is cast is transmitted upon that time. That is the education we had. But we are now hearing a different introduction of some other phrases like divas by court or whatever language is used for it. So we needed the party, um, the coalition officer from the state, like it has been asserted, for them to do that. Let them prove to us that yes, at the point of voting, it was trans transmitted. Secondly, sir, I, I have read and I've seen that even at the point of election, uh, some personalities in this, in this country showed their ballot paper please, the party they please, voted for. representative of the ADP. Yes, sir. Please, that is not before us. Yes, I know, but I'm so please, actively speaking, sir. Please, yes. let, us, let us focus on what is before us, yes, but the yes. result for the election from Quara. Otherwise, yes, this is unending. Allow me to learn, sir. Allow me to learn. Because we are looking at the transparency of the entire system. And if it's the entire system, if somebody shows the party he voted for, that also can be taken as vote buying. And please, we, we have please to Alex, that, sir. I wish we can confine ourselves to what is before us, consideration of the report from Quara. All right, sir. Not what transpired summary, at the polling unit that is not before us. I support the move okay. of PDP, sir. So that's all, you, that's all you wanted to say all this while, just to support. Okay. Um, the second agent of the uh, PDP, I think. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Emeka Nihedior. Mr. Chairman, I was and I am one of the Nigerians that have absolute confidence in this electoral process. Mr. Chairman, when there were efforts to undermine the authority of INEC, we stood firmly that INEC must be truly independent. Mr. Chairman, we're talking about the transparency of this process. And we're talking about confidence in the process. I had cause, sir, to engage you yesterday. I had cause to speak to your national commissioners yesterday. I had cause to speak to them this morning about coalition and abuse of the electoral process. Mr. Chairman, as we speak, in a number of states, efforts are still ongoing to undermine that process. Resulted, Mr. Chairman, I wish you I'm, can just confine yourself yeah, Mr. Chairman, to what has been presented yes, sir, from Quara. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, if we are I, talking about what is not before us, this discussion will be an ending. No, we are not here for an no, ending no, discussion. Sir. Sir, the point we are here I'm for making, collation of results. Mr. Chairman, please, sir. The point I'm making, sir, is that it is clear that there were problems with uploading the results, which is fundamental to where we are. And we are saying it is important that we know that Nigerians are aware that electorates know that the votes they've cast were properly uploaded and it reflects the wishes of the people from polling units. Mr. Chairman, fundamentally, it is clear to us that in the course of coalition, coalition officers and return officers were forced by people who think they are more powerful to return results. And Mr. Chairman, it is important that that is addressed. 
Former, where people excuse me, as a former deputy speaker of the Federal Republic, please speak to what you can present evidence for, not to stand at the National Coalition to be making insinuations. Please, Mr. Mr. Resume, Chairman, please resume your seat. Please, I'll take my seat, seat. Please, my point has been made. Thank you, Mr. Please Chairman. resume your seat. Are there any specific issues or questions relating to the results presented by the Requara apart from these general issues? Okay. Um, Scope, Quara, and the Rec, please present your report. Thank you very much. Coalition Secretariat, um, any more? Thank you, Rek Quara. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, next state. No, you are now being. You are, you are, you are now being disruptive. No. You are now. You are now being disruptive of the process. Okay, next. Um, Then we'll come back to the issues you've raised. Let's take the next state, Osho. Okay. Um, Scope Quara. Uh, sorry, Oshun and the rec. Please make your presentation. Thank you. Sorry, Quara. Quara has done his own. Oshun State? Yes, sir. Yeah, please go ahead, Oshun. Thank you. My name is Dr. Mutiu Olaleke. Agboke. I am the resident electoral commissioner, INEC Oshun State. My scope is here. My name is Professor Fola Ijeje Ogushola, the vice chancellor. Agent of, of the, the PDP, of please Egypt. resume your seat. You are now you are now deliberately disruptive. Okay. Rek Kwara. Please make your prayer. Uh, sorry, Oshun, introduce yourself and let the scope for Oshun make her presentation. I am Dr. Mutiu Olaleke Agboke. I am the resident electoral commissioner, INEC, Oshun State. My scope is also here. Okay, I thank am, you. Scope? I am Professor Fola Shade Ugunshola, the vice chancellor of the University of Lagos. I was the Hope for Oshun State, the presidential. 
The results for the presidential election held on the 25th February 2023 in Oshun State. Uh, we had the total number of registered voters, 1,954,800. The total number of accredited voters was 759,362. The total number of votes received by the presidential candidates of each of the political parties is as follows. Party A, 1,006. 1,006. Party AA, 129, 129. Party AAC, 402, 402. Party ADC, 3,988, 3,988. Party ADP, 1519, 1519. APC, 343,945. 343,945. APGA, 613. 613. APM, 291. 291. APP, 140. 206. 206. LP, 23,283. 23,283. NNPP, 713. 713. NRM, 623. 623. PDP, 354,000. 366, 354,366, PRP 277, PRP 277, SDP 225, SDP 225, YPP 347, YPP 347, ZLP 1121, 1121. The total valid votes, 733,203, 733203. Rejected votes, 23,541, 23,541. The total votes cast, 756,744, 756,744. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Scope. Any comments? Yes, I can see a hand from a distance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Ina Okopi Agu, the party agent for African Action Congress. Um, I, I'd like to have a situation where, and I'm hoping you're going to do this, if any scope is coming here to present, I think you should instruct them to first tell us that the results they are presenting had already been uploaded. It's a simple thing. If you can tell them to 
to tell us this. It makes it easy for everybody and what rancor we're having here. Noted. Thank you very much. Yes, I can see a hand there. Uh, sir, we made an observation and you are sure that you gave us 30 minutes to look at the result and then come up with Did I assure condition. you that I'll give you 30 minutes? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Did I give you, assure you I will give you 10 minutes? So well, whether that is for assure 10 minutes. or no assure you say we should do it. And no. now I have done mine. And I come out in Quara, we have, there is an over voting of 7,330. Sorry. That is why we say it. It we is very important. Sorry, sir. It is very important. You, we just don't read. The result was read, was presented at polling unit, and it came to the uh, coalition center, at the coalition center, in the world coalition center. It came to local government coalition center, at the state coalition center, and we are be receiving the same treatment. Then when we came here for final approval or uh, presentation of the result, and then we also be treated the same way. Sir, so it's not acceptable. Okay. Um, any specific comments on the result presented? We will then take the next state, and I think there is no other state immediately available. We will have an interlude. During the interlude, you can interrogate the results, and when we come back after the interlude, we'll talk about your observations on the results presented. Meanwhile, on the specific question whether these results are the same result that emanated from the polling units, which is critical. Let the scope um, uh, and all the rec um, speak to that. But what I've seen is that these results are endorsed by all the agents of all the political parties at different levels. Okay, um, the scope or the rec, they are the same result that emanated from the polling units as collated. Of course. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, Dino. I wish you can resume your seat. I've listened to you. Any specific question yeah. apart from that? Any specific question on what has been presented? Any specific question? Who hasn't spoken before? PRP has spoken. Uh, there is a gentleman in front of the agent of the PRP. Uh, yes, the one in black. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mohammed. I'm the agent for NRM. Mr. Chairman, my advice is before the state coalition agents should come here, they should verify their figures very well. Because we are sitting here in front of the whole Nigerians, the whole world. These figures should be looked into. That is my suggestion. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Chairman. you very much. We'll always do so verify and cross-check figures. As the gentleman in white. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is uh, Sule Mohammed. I'm the party agent for PRP. What I want to inquire is, what is the position of law on this issue of uploading of results? The law does not require that collation should be done on the basis of results transmitted. It's on the basis of results carried forward manually and physically to the various collation centers. But where there are discrepancies then it is the, man, the transmitted result that it should be used to resolve the discrepancies. But why do these discrepancies arise? Discrepancies arise at the level of polling, after a polling unit collation at what level? So, um, any specific question? Any further specific question? We can't be going back and forth on this matter. My we'll come back question. to it. My second we, question, We can Mr. be going Chairman. back and forth. Okay, second question, yes, sir. PRP. Yes. Yesterday, at the course of the beginning of your uh, uh, statement, you said you will have on the side coalition secretariat. And I assume this coalition secretariat is supposed to interrogate whatever results 
the scope and the regs are bringing. It's advisable, like NRM indicated, that these things should be interrogated and checked and cross-checked so that we do not have this embarrassing situation of people claiming that there is over-voting, there is under-voting whatsoever. Just my own piece of advice. Thank you. We have noted the claims, and I'm happy you said the claims. Any specific issue on the result? Okay. We still have Ondo. We'll take Ondo, and I don't think there's any other scope around at the moment. Then there will be an interlude. Is there any issue with the figures you have presented that you would like to use the coalition secretary to cross-check? No, as we arrive, we have, everything has been cross-checked, and we are good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. But are there places where election did not hold or uh, 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 results cancelled? There were uh, reasons? There was nowhere elections didn't hold, but there were some cancelled results. Okay. And what are they, and what are the reasons for the cancellation? Overvoting, and this came from the um, polling unit. Okay, thank you very much. Please submit your report. Okay, Coalition Secretariat, um, which state is next? Coalition Secretariat, which state is next? I will come back to you. Please, please take your seat. Please. I, I noted your observations. We'll come back to these observations. Next state is, uh, I think, Ondo. Is the rec Ondo around and the scope? Okay, the rec and the territory, the scope and the admin sec in the absence of the resident electoral commissioner. Minsek, introduce yourself and let the scope introduce himself and make your presentation for Ondo State. My name is Oyekola Oyelami, the Administrative Secretary, INEC Ondo State. My name is Professor Fashino Abayomi Sunday, the Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Yekiti. Honorable Chairman, can I go ahead, sir? Yeah, please go ahead. Well, we have uh, 18 local governments in Ondo State. Um, presentation go does. The number of registered voters, 1,991,344. 1,991,344. Number of accredited voters, 571,402. 571402. For the parties, party A, 414. 414. Party AA, 196. 196. Party AAC, 890. 890. Party ADC, 5612. 5612. Party ADP. 
Party APC, 369924. 369924. Party APGA, Afghan. 1206. 1206. Party APM, 319. 319. The APP 235, 235. Party BP 200, 200. Party LP 47350, 47350. Party NNPP 930, 930. Party NRM. 347, 347. Party PDP, 115463, 115463. Party PRP, 240, 240. Party SDP, 1293, 1293. Party YPP, 340. Party ZLP 4783. 4783. Total valid votes 551008. 551008. Number of rejected votes 19,009. 19,009. Total vote cast 570017. 570017. Okay, thank you very much, Cope. Um, were there places where election did not hold or results cancelled? Yeah, in four local government area uh, with RA, eight RA, with 11 polling units and registered voters of 5363 and PVC of collected 3156, we have cases of overvoting in this. Sorry, go over the figures carefully. Four local governments. Yes, sir. How many RAs? Eight. Eight RAs. How many PUs affected? Eleven. Number of registered voters? Five, three, six, three. And PVCs collected? Three, one, five, six. Three, one, five, six. And what were the reasons for the cancellation? Overvoting. Overvoting. Yes, and are these recorded in detail in the EC40G? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Comments? Okay, please submit your results. Collection Secretariat, um, do you have any um, scope around? Not yet. Collection Secretariat. Okay. At this point, we'll take a short break and resume in the next one hour, hoping that some additional scope would have arrived. Thank you. <laughs>